Welcome back to Sunday Meds. Today I want to encourage us to let God define you. Do not rely on others around you to define you because they might lead you astray. Whether they are saying things that sound positive or things that sound negative, remember that the same people that praised Herod persecuted Jesus. We cannot rely on the opinions of others to truly define us because only God really sees the heart, he sees our motives, and he sees our potential. So even if the people around us are praising us to say, wow, you're such a faithful, devout Christian, you're really excelling in your gifts, I just really admire how you're pursuing God, that can also be as dangerous as criticism can be. Criticism and lies that pull us down, that tell us lies about ourselves that aren't true, that don't reflect who we are, both of them can be dangerous. So let God define you and then filter what people are saying through what God has already said about you. Because through the praise of people that can also lead to this false sense of of accomplishment or success or that we have arrived somewhere and it can lead us to being complacent that we won't want to press in for the more the greater that is always available to us in God so it's not just the criticism of people to be aware of but also the praise of people either way let God define you not only are there those who call evil good and good evil, and therefore will be looking at you through perverted, corrupted, false lenses. But there are also people who are well-intentioned, and you might be the best example of a certain character trait that they're seeing, and so they are just gushing and elevating you in their own eyes and in their own perception. But the lens of God may be seeing your potential to go even further than you are or that you are in danger of pride or lukewarmness or just becoming stale or just falling into a spirit of religiousness or routine or the mundane and just getting stuck. People may also have a very warped sense of success and throughout the scripture we see the psalmist pouring out their concerns of why does it seem like the wicked are prospering. And even in the parable of the rich man and Lazarus, the rich man was told that in this life you had everything. Lazarus, on the other hand, didn't have anything. But in eternity, the first shall become last and the last shall become first. And so if we listen to people, we can be led astray to thinking that, oh wow, you have this great job, you have this great degree, you have this great family, you have this wonderful personality. It must mean that you are successful. And we can be led astray to thinking that these things must mean therefore that I am successful and fall into the danger of not really fulfilling your God-given purpose, your God-given destiny on this earth, and of not storing up as much treasure in heaven as you could have because you just felt like, oh, well, I'm successful. Like, I have a good job, I have the house, I have these relationships, people like me, people are always complimenting me and praising me and telling me how well I'm doing and how much of an inspiration I am, and they're really blessed by my ministry and the things that I do, it can lead us into a false sense, a wrong sense of accomplishment and lead us into settling. So I just want to encourage us today, let God define you and then let everybody else's words, let all the other sources and opinions be filtered through what God is saying. Be encouraged. See you next time.